welcome to my channel it's Rishni here and in today's video it's going to be a different video first of all and in today's video I am going to teach you guys how to edit on PSTC now I have made two similar videos before this and they have got a lot of views and a lot of people wanted to know how to edit from the beginning till the end so yeah I am going to teach you guys and I'm a very bad teacher okay like I'm not really good at you know speaking to the camera and then just you know rambling out things so what I'm going to do in this video is going to screen record everything I do and then give a voice over to all of it so I hope you all enjoy and understand whatever I say and hope it helps you out thank you so much see you guys after the whole thing is done I will begin this tutorial by the beginning of everything so we click on VSDC this is my desktop and VSDC video editor will open up then we'll click on blank project now in the background you'll have a lot of color options but I always choose black as my color option now we go to finish and then we add object and here we can click on video now I will click on the video I want to choose for this video tutorial and after I got my video I selected ok after selecting ok I will play this video by that triangular play button and I always uh, split the video if it is since this video is four minutes long i split it into split it split it yeah i don't know i did split it into two parts and i've changed the project into shifted the object i mean the ending of it like the i don't even know how to say this to a different project by projects explorer now since i have to edit in project one itself I'm going to continue uh, doing all those shit by going to objects explorer and in objects I will split the video for a zoom effect and then I will uh, go back and then again on video effects go to crop and select ok now i can select as parents ratio and crop it however i want and here we go we have the zoom in effect now again a big eye fish eye effect which is kind of really funny to me we can use this effect by clicking by again splitting the video the part of the video you want to put this effect on and now I'll again split the end and then and then I will go to uh, the video the specific segment of the video and copy it and paste it right above it so that it is so that the effect is like on use I don't even know how to say this but yeah now I'll go to transforms and then distort and on distort I will go to the options and now it is visited class but I can later on change it to fish eye so I did change it on change it to fish eye and this is how the effect looks like everyone has seen it okay I guess I guess so for the text I'm going to I'm going to add the object and then enter text then click on ok now i will select the place i want my text to be at and now i will write down whatever i want to write so here i'm writing product review so after i'm done with this i will highlight that portion and then give my favorite font which is keep on trucking and now i'm selecting the size and you can select whatever size you want i'm selecting 72 to 96 points so i 
I don't know, my mind is unstable, so <laughs> it is 96 points now. So yeah, I've given this and now I'm going to go to contour and then select a contour color and then add the contour pixels as well. So I want to change the contour color though, it's not really pretty, black is not the best one for this I guess. That aesthetic, so yes, blue, blue wins it. And now I will fade in the text so it's going to look a lot more professional and I'm going to shorten the, um, the amount of time it's going to consume. Oh my god, what the fuck am I saying? Anyways, this is the end product. I missed before is how to put sound effects now I searched up the sound effect on YouTube and I've copied the link address after copying the link address you can go directly to an illegal website I mean I go to YT mp3 for your convenience you can use this website it's very easy you just have to copy paste the link and then you can download it and after it is downloaded you'll find the file of course and then you can select the part you want your sound effect to be at So for green screen, we got to add object and now we'll go to the settings, sorry not settings, we'll go to add image and then I'll click on this green screen that I made it by myself on Pixar. So I will put it where I want to basically. Okay so this is how you do it and after this, okay we just wait. Video and you got to know. Okay, yeah, after this we go to video effects and then in transparency we'll go to background remover and then click on OK. And now we'll select the place we want our chroma key to work. And then, and then we have this, it's transparent now. The green screen is working, yay! So any reaction? No, he'd not even fucking care. So, yep, you know, I gotta cool that. So let's see about the mom, mom, mom. This is how you export your project. So after you're done, just go to export project tab and then you can change the name to whatever name you want. Now I will uh, put it in a folder. I definitely do this for all my videos. So yes, new folder and then I will save the folder with the video title and then I will put this in this folder as project one and then export it and then click on continue and then your video will be exported to that specific folder. how to do the intro that I do basically so I have my first image as white as the background and then I'll put this edited image of mine that is made by my friend Rishita so this one is on a green screen so I will go and change the background remover just like I've shown you guys before I will I will make the background transparent and first I'll adjust how long I want this thing to be and shit so I'll make it around 6 seconds, the entire thing. So for now, it'll be around 2 seconds. And now I'll just add the other one, which is a bit of like a kind of animation thing that I'm trying to do. And then I'll change the background of both these um, pictures. First, I will go to the hard one, the second one, and then the first one. And now we here we have it. Just adjust the chroma key effects and make things transparent, okay? 
Now for adding text, I will put uh, I'll put an add text thing and then I don't even know how to like instruct but I will write Rishni and then I'll give the font of my choice. Now I'm quite experimenting with all the fonts and everything. So yep. So I chose so I chose one, uh, I don't know, some sort of font and then I'm going to change the color and then I'm going to adjust the size and here we go. After adjusting that, I'll put fade in effect on the text, so it just fades in the whole video. And now I have downloaded an overlay. Now this is a blue wavy overlay that I'm going to use. So yeah, this will give a very tropical effect because this is my summer 2021 intro. So yep, <laughs> I'll just split the video to the part I want and then just overlay it on my intro and then change the background I'll again remove the green of the green screen and here we go now I'll put fade out effect to the text as well as the images so and I'll also decrease the volume of the overlay video so that it doesn't clash with the music I'll put behind. Okay, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Well, I hope you all got the help you wanted. If you want, if you like one if you have any doubts i mean like if you have any doubts I, and if you want like some more videos on this topic then please comment down below and yeah do like share and subscribe to my channel and turn the notification on because youtube sucks at notifying people now anyways um bye bye peace out spread love today exo